Quahog Bay Conservancy farmers are checking on their oysters today. But they can't be harvested or sold because of red tide. It's part of the natural marine phytoplankton community. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Other animals that then go on to eat those shellfish are taking up the toxins. The oysters here at Snow Island have not been able to be harvested for about two months because of red tide. And some of the farmers here, they say that it's all a matter of timing before they can reopen. Despite their own tests saying their farm is clean, they can't sell until the state clears them. So we're kind of stuck in limbo waiting for when they get to us. Which in turn hurts the whole bay because this nonprofit can't do their work. Before the conservancy, Quahog Bay was closed to harvesting all shellfish in the bay. And after our initiatives and working with DMR, we have opened the bay to clamors, oyster aquaculture, and other activities. They say the majority of their funds come from their oyster sales and they don't know how long they can last on just donations. We, like other oyster farmers for profit, have had a loss of income. There's really nothing that you can do. We just have to wait on the state to um, take their sample and then approve our area. Off the coast of Harpswell, Taylor Cairns, CBS 13 News.